I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily, Monday through Friday, to do these love readings for you. Any and all signs, all of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay, let's get into this. Right, you guys, let's get into the rest of October. See what your messages are. What else is coming up here for you? Okay, you're starting with ooh, wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Okay, let's see what else is coming up here. Oh, you also have separation. Okay. Someone is feeling sad, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. And a couple cards. Oh, a bunch. Well, we'll take the first two. Someone is feeling not good enough, frustrated in a relationship, lacking confidence, self-sabotaging, fear, ego issues, jealousy, and struggling with healing the heart. Trying to heal from a heartbreak. Okay. You know, this is speaking pretty strongly to me that there is some relationship, or was, that was heading in a beautiful direction. Um, there was definitely some kind of a soul connection, um, two hearts entwined, possibly leading to marriage. There was definitely a beautiful union, um, the marrying of two souls together, two people who fell in love. There, It, was, it looked definitely showing me this energy of something looking beautifully but two people separated and you know the healing heart card fell out in the reverse i feel like because of some kind of separation um, there's a, definitely a lot of sadness someone is missing you they're definitely thinking about you unsure maybe of what happened unsure of why there was a separation unsure of like what's going to happen now if there's a future uh, not knowing you know trying to heal from this separation um feeling rejected lacking in confidence not feeling good enough feeling jealous you know as you know that's kind of the things that happen when people split up or when something happens trying to like lick the wounds definitely okay so um that could be you it could be two people it could you know definitely be the other person but let's get more into this and see what's going on here okay let's take a look show me the past for the collective the past energy okay yeah so it looks like there was definitely a decision that got made in the past there was a new definitely two people came together i feel like you and another person intuitively knew there was definitely like you and in, both intuitively knew that there was a, a like a seed was planted when you both came together there was some kind of uh, it definitely feels like a powerful passionate connection when you guys came together whether that was a year ago two years ago 12 years ago three years ago um anytime between now and uh, however long it was okay um could have been <laughs> three weeks ago um however long it was that was definitely there and i see there might have been a little bit um not a lot of communication but there was definitely fire definitely a passionate connection happening the current energy here okay so you've got the Queen of Cups, so that's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So this is an energy of trying to get in touch with the feelings, for sure. The challenge here is trying to get grounded, really trying to stay focused on work, trying to stay focused on career, family, um, inheritance, money, leaving a legacy, 
staying close to family, but someone is really wrapped up in the emotions. There's a water sign energy here really wrapped up in the compassion, the empathy, the feelings, the, 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 the deep, the nurturing of the self. What's driving this energy right now is, wow, three of wands. What's going on out in the distance? I feel like there's a heavy distraction at this time. Yeah, someone is very heavily distracted, waiting for someone to return. Okay, and so when I say someone, I'm either talking about you or another person. Okay, so I feel like someone is waiting for another, waiting to hear back, waiting for someone else to return. Or just, look, uh, the one thing is I feel like when I'm looking at this card is there is no bridge here to cross. So someone cannot make a move. There's no bridge. There's boats out on the water there, but I feel like someone is kind of stuck on the side of this cliff here. They can't make a move. They can't cross over to the other side. Um, there's no walkway. They would have to swim. They're kind of not dressed for swimming, you know? And I just kind of feel like they need a boat to cross. They're waiting for a ship or they're waiting for a ride, waiting for a sign. I, there's, you know, and it's coming slow. It's coming slow. Um, Things are moving at such a slow pace, which I actually feel like is good because that's giving opportunity for healing. That's slow healing opportunity. Um, there's definitely a confidence issue going on here with this feeling not good enough. Yeah, I feel like someone is struggling with their self-esteem here, whomever it is. And um, there was definitely like a huge fallout i wonder what happened i want to ask what happened to go from things being so good to just kind of falling apart here oh oh, oh they just gave me the three of pentacles um okay so either someone um hmm i feel like someone was okay they're they're telling me Either someone was in school and they couldn't devote time to a relationship or they were studying and they couldn't devote time to a relationship or they were learning something um, or they were working very hard. You know, this kind of feels like someone who was so focused on the Three of Pentacles is all about studies. and writing and look at the potion there um, creating it's about apprenticeship um, it, it feels like someone was very distracted in their work or something they were doing um, three can represent a third party but I don't feel like it was a third party as far as like um, infidelity someone was if, if it's infidelity it was a third party there was the the, the miss the work mistress it, in other words it was like a third party of work you know pentacle is all about money and career and finances so it looks like um someone made a priority of their school or their career or their finances or their studies um they just it looks like they didn't have they just couldn't devote they couldn't they didn't have a, a work balance kind of thing they uh, they couldn't they couldn't um it looks like they couldn't balance things out here okay in the relationship they couldn't make something so did somebody leave the relationship because of that no well someone felt completely left out in the cold or there or someone was um greedy and felt like there wasn't enough money <laughs> oh, I hate to say that. Oh my gosh, that's someone might have been a gold digger and left a relationship because that other person didn't have enough money. I hate to say that. I really do. I really, really think that's awful. Um, that's my opinion. But some people are like that. You know, I know not everybody, but you know, I, I could see where someone might feel like they weren't good enough for another person because they weren't at their income level, you know, um, 
And I know there's people out there that are going to say, well, you shouldn't feel bad because if someone isn't pulling their weight, you know, um, but it really, you know, I shouldn't give you my opinion. I'm sorry, but I had to with that. But to each their own, okay? Everybody's situation is different, but I feel like, okay, so that's one part of the story. Someone felt like there wasn't enough money and they they, let, they walked away from um, a, a relationship that was lovely or they changed their mind and decided that they weren't going to do this relationship because there wasn't enough funds. They couldn't, another person couldn't buy someone what they wanted to keep them in you know, riches and, and gold and all that stuff, okay? Um, and on a more uh, attention kind of thing, I feel like someone walked away from the relationship because they felt like there was, like feeling-wise, they felt like um, they were abandoned or there just wasn't, you know, they felt left out in the cold. They just kind of felt like like poverty, mindset like they just there was no they were just alone okay and they felt like they weren't valuable enough you know there wasn't there was no value they they weren't valuable enough okay so yeah i just wanted to ask what was going on there so that's what i feel like the message is for that so let's take a look um near future to see what energies come up here for this connection near future Or somebody might have lost a job and they were trying to get back to work. And they weren't able to find a job, so they went back to school. There was not enough money or there wasn't enough money to get married. And somebody decided they weren't they weren't going to do the, the wedding went off. And then something happened with a relationship and it didn't work out. I just heard that as well. Okay. All right. So there is a return here. Looks like six of cups. Okay. There's some type of a reconciliation happening here. Let's see. Kindness, sincerity, let's see. Oh, wow, Ace of Cups. So, hmm, definitely a new start is going to happen here. Okay, there might be an apology. There might be some kind of like coming back together, recon um, remembering all the good times about the past, someone apologizing or two people trying to work out their differences for sure um all right let's see what your advice is here for you all right so your advice here is to communicate directly with this person say exactly what's on your mind if you have changed your life state that if you um have changed your mind state that be direct don't be indirect with this person if there's any kind of reconciliation or any kind of communication coming up or anything like that be open and honest and straightforward the knight of swords is open and honest and straightforward does not hold back the knight of swords is not mean um by any stretch of the imagination, the Knight of Swords is just clear and concise, crystal clear, and is choice with their words. Okay? And the Knight of Swords energy is nip it in the bud quickly. So uh, that's your advice in regards to this situation here. Whatever it is that you need to say, say it. Okay, let's see what's external, this person's energy, what they're coming in directly with. Okay, so they're coming in with the emperor. That's Aries energy. So this person is coming in with some very, being accountable, very accountable vibes. They're coming in with responsible vibes. They're coming in with taking the lead vibes. They're coming in with... Um, boss up vibes they're coming in with i can handle it vibes i can do what needs to be done vibes okay um the emperor takes responsibility for it. the emperor owns what needs what what the emperor does if the emperor makes mistakes the emperor owns it if the emperor 
makes doesn't make mistakes. The emperor does not own other people's mistakes. The emperor is pretty much in charge, um, but is not bossy. Doesn't tell other people what to do. The emperor just comes in pretty much like correct, has sorted things out, right? Has sorted things out. So that's a good energy for someone to come in like that. That's a good energy. Some of you might be connecting with an Aries. This could be an Aries. Okay, let's take a look at your hopes and fears here. Well, let's see what your hopes are. Okay. Well, you hope you have the strength and the courage probably to say what you need to say. I feel like that's the case here. Yeah. You hope you have the strength and the courage to say probably what you've been needing to say. I feel like you've, you have, you either you have or you've had something on your mind that you have wanted to say to someone or that you've been needing to spit out, whatever it is. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm actually, I'm going to ask because I feel like you've been wanting to say something. If, if it's anger, probably not a good idea to say it. It's probably best to channel your anger to your pillow or something so that you can then uh, express how you feel later so that you can just later just say I feel angry <laughs> but not channel your anger at somebody um, but let's see what is it that the collective wants to say or what is it that you want to say what have you been wanting to say oh well that was straightforward well, that either somebody hurt you or you felt stabbed in the back or words that were said to you were painful um, or that you didn't deserve something. Look at the swords. The swords represent the intellect. The swords represent the words, the thoughts, straight to the heart. The swords also represent the three the interference or the third party. Um, you might also want to say that you felt like it was you and the person and the third party, that you felt like there was no room for you or that you felt like you this person did not give you enough time. Okay. Um, that you were hurt by the separation or you were hurt by the breakup or a divorce if that's what you had. Okay. Um, or that you felt rejected. You know, all of these things that the Three of Swords represent. It looks like there is a healing energy. I will say that. But it looks like there needs to be communication. And I felt like there was a lack of that here. And communication is the foundation for a healthy relationship. I saw a quote the other day that says, if you want to be happy in relationship, if you want your relationship to be successful, you have two options. You can be right or you can be happy. <laughs> and I, it was kind of a joke, right? But I mean, when you think about it, sometimes being right, <laughs> at the end of the day, really, what does that get you? I mean, that's your ego, right? But being happy, I mean, isn't that really all that matters? I mean, I know it's kind of a joke, but... Isn't it really all that matters? I mean, so what if you're right? So freaking what? You know, happiness is really what we sh should strive every day, right? So if you have something that you need to say to this person, if somebody comes back and wants to reconcile or wants to apologize or just wants to talk, open your damn mouth. Say something. If you can't say it, put it in a letter. If you can't put it in a letter, text it. And you don't have to be mean. You don't have to worry or think that somebody, if somebody's coming back to want to talk to you with the Ace of Cups because they love you, they just then I feel like they're going to listen to you. And I feel like they want to talk to you. They want to hear what you have to say. So it's okay to talk. The worst thing is to clam up. That's probably why, which I feel like going on here, is if somebody walked away from you uh, because you clammed up, that's probably why. Or if you walked away from someone because they clammed up, 
that's probably why you left, right? So it can go in either direction. Um, speak up. Don't stifle yourself. And don't allow yourself to be stifled. Get into the habit of being able to express yourself. Let's take a look at your outcome here. Oh, yeah. Good. The benefit of all of this, I feel... Ten of Wands, releasing the burden. You've been carrying around that anger. It's going to eat you up inside, baby. The heart of the matter is forgiveness. Even if you guys don't resume the relationship, let that shit go. <laughs> be light. Be air. Be happy. Doesn't matter who's right. Doesn't matter who's wrong. Just be happy. You know, and I feel like that's probably the most important message, at least for October, for you. Let's see one more message, and then I'm going to close out your reading. As you guys, if you heard in the beginning, I am here Monday through Friday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be doing collective readings for you guys. I just can't keep up with all the different signs. Um, so I'm just going to show up here five days a week for you guys to get a collective message for you to listen to and try to get some type of, you know, intuitive message to pick up. And then, um, yeah, if you're new, definitely subscribe, and like the video if you enjoy the readings and welcome back everybody. If you've been here, look, the past returns. I feel like you had this the other day. And yeah, there's definitely a past energy returning, I feel, in, um, October. Also, if you happen to be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you can go over to my other channel, House of Virgo, where there is a reading there every Sunday through Thursday. So you can get a double dose of readings from me. And there you go. Cupid's arrows, love messages, travel. So there's definitely, I mean, love is on the chopping block <laughs> in the month of October. I do feel like that's going to be pretty prominent for you guys showing up this month. So it's cuffing season. Hey, we're going into the holidays. So all's forgiven in love and war, right? So hopefully you guys will have a lovely, lovely October. I'm going to leave that there for you. Don't forget to smash that like button and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the peace